Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Luke. And we're Android Guys. Give us five to ten minutes of your day. And we'll tell you about a product or service. Or an app that you might be interested in. In this episode, we take an early look at the latest earbuds from Soundpeats out of their release later this spring. What do you got for us today? Today I am talking about the Soundpeats Opera 5 earbuds. Uh, these are a Bluetooth earbud. Uh, with a emphasis on audio. Um, these are not quite available, but when they are, I'd pick yeah. them up. So you recommend them? I do. I do like these. Um, they hit all the boxes. They have active noise canceling. They have an IPX rating. They have over 30 hours on a charge or with the charging case. Mm-hmm. Um, they have uh, an app experience that lets you do customizable EQs, even customizable notification sounds. Nice. Um, they're pretty sweet, man. I like right. them. Let's take a quick break, and you can dive in on those. Love it. All right, Luke, you're going to tell us more about the Soundpeats Opera 5. Now, I know these are a Kickstarter yes. earbud. Yes. I saw them here in the office. Yes. Had a chance to play with them briefly. Uh-huh. But you have kind of kicked the tires on them. Yes. Done a little bit more extensive hands-on, ears-on. True. So, True story. <laughs> let's let's hear about them. Uh, you mentioned a couple of the features. Um, well, you take it. Yeah. So audio-wise, I mean, these are, these are primarily an audio listening device for music. Okay. Um, these have uh, multiple codec support, including LDAC, which is one of the newest codecs developed by Sony, uh, supposed to be able to give really nice audio over Bluetooth. Okay. And that's what it was designed for is audio delivery over Bluetooth. These are the one of the more high bit rates yes. out there. Okay. Yeah, like 30 megahertz or something like that. Okay. Um, they are... Um, IPX4 rated, mm-hmm. so you're going to be able to wear them uh, while you're doing stuff. You're gonna if you're caught, you know, in the rain or it, yeah. you have a little bit of sweat if you're working out or something. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to be fine. Now that being said, the design of them they look very nice. They got like a shiny black with mm-hmm. some gold accent to them. Yeah, uh, they look premium they feel premium they are a little bit bigger yeah um kind of fits there's a little part that goes in your ear uh but the main housing of the earbud uh is a little bulky yeah i quickly when i put them in i I felt like i had frankenstein bolts yeah kind of sticking out yeah but that was just the first blush kind of feel i didn't get a chance to listen to them right wear them do anything but i just thought Oh, these are kind of big, right? But they're nice looking. They I mean, are nice looking. Soundpeats doesn't typically. This looks a little more premium. A yes, more upscale for them. Yes, and uh, they feel like it too. I mean, they sound good. Um, these are ones that I could see myself if I just want to listen to music, or uh, and and really enjoy music. But maybe after people have gone to bed for the night or yeah. something like that. Um, They do have active noise canceling, so you're going to be able to kind of shut out the rest of the house if you're listening to them, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, doing stuff around the house. Uh, But because of weight wise um, and what they kind of the fit, I don't know if they would be a commute earbud for me. Okay. Now, I did change the tip. It comes with multiple tips, Mm -hmm. uh, foam and silicone. And by changing the tip, I was able to get a better feel. Sure. That felt a lot more solid, um, but still, uh, look wise, wasn't my uh, not aesthetic look, but the feel of the earbud uh, wasn't the right fit for me for a commute. Um, these though, overall, are gonna hit every box. Mm-hmm. Active noise canceling. Uh, they have the charging case that so the battery you mentioned with the charging case what is the total on that it's 33 hours okay um total so you get nine hours of charge and then 
33. If you're using active noise canceling, it goes down to 25 more. Sure. So you, it it's not or 25 total, um, but they're saying you know over 30 hours basically. Yeah. Uh, which is great for you know an earbud. Yeah, you're looking at maybe depending on your lifestyle, what once or twice a week. Right. To charge that. Right. Um, what do these run price wise? So that's the interesting part because it's still Kickstarter okay. based. Um, it's not openly available. You can still get in on the Kickstarter. As of this recording, it might be right at the end of it. Yeah. But these come in at $79. Yeah. So I'm looking at like early bird, save 20. Yeah. You know, for 59 um uh so 79 dollars yeah 79 dollars the retail they say the retail is going to be 100 dollars. okay so still 100 dollars. i have no problem saying pick these up yeah especially if you like uh you know listening to music and that's what you primarily do with earbuds Mm -hmm. these are going to be great now call quality is fine i took calls i i whenever i'm testing earbuds i always make a call and see how it sounds it sounded fine everything like that um, for me, the fit wasn't cre- quite right for the, these to be my go-to all day, every day earbud. Sure. Uh, but if I really want to sit and enjoy some music and do some stuff around the house, uh, these are going to be the ones. Now, going back to the size of those, uh, did you have any type of ear fatigue? No. Okay. No, they felt really good, uh, especially with the different types of ear tips that you can put in. Mm-hmm. Uh, they really do give you a comfort fit. Nice. Yeah. So I don't know the exact launch of these. Right. Uh, depending on when this is published. Estimated so. delivery for the Kickstarter backers is April of 2023. Okay. So I'm guessing maybe around that time or slightly after they'll sure. be on market. Okay. And again, these are Sound Pete's. Sound Pete's Opera 5. Opera 5. Thank you, Luke. No problem. All right. That's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.